Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will show you the newly released Huan 2.2 Remix model. Here are a few examples of what the model can achieve. The official GitHub page for this project provides further details and resources. As you can observe from the information presented on the GitHub repository, this particular model is distributed with two distinct sets of files. One specifically designed for not safe for work content and another tailored for safe for work applications. So over here, as you can clearly see, a crucial step in utilizing this model effectively is to download the new NSFW text encoder. This component is essential for processing and generating content within the NSFW domain. This is the newly introduced text encoder that we will be actively utilizing throughout our demonstration. You have the flexibility to employ either the BF16, BFLAT16 or the FB8 float 8 scale for this encoder. It is imperative that I inform you right from the outset that specifically for the image to video conversion process, you absolutely need to use the FB8 scaled version. This is a critical requirement because attempting to use the BF16 version will invariably result in an error. I will explicitly demonstrate this error and its resolution in the dedicated image to video section of this presentation. As you can see, there are several distinct models that you have the option to download. These models cater to both image to video and text to video conversion tasks. It is advisable to download the latest available version, which is obviously the one release for our text to video experiments. For the image to video functionality, we will be utilizing the 0.8 safe tensor files. This selection ensures we are working with the most current and stable versions for each respective task. So first and foremost, we will thoroughly examine the text-to-video functionality. As you can clearly observe, this is the text-to-video version 10. And specifically, we have both the text-to-video version 10 with high noise and the text-to-video version 10 with low noise available for testing. I must emphasize one crucial point. If you do not have Sage Attention installed or configured, it is highly recommended that you use SDPA instead. I have been receiving a significant number of questions regarding this in the comments section. So please just implement SDPA if you lack Sage Attention or Flash Attention installations. Here is a sample prompt, as you can see in a cozy cafe. Initially, I will demonstrate the normal outputs without enabling the NSFW not safe for work features. This will allow you to gain a clear understanding of its baseline performance, assessing how good or how bad it is without any additional complexities. OK, and you are utilizing eight steps in this process. Furthermore, we are splitting these eight steps into four for each individual step. We've also incorporated a fast and sharp sharpener to ensure that the generated images possess a high degree of sharpness and clarity. So, this is the resulting video that we obtained and it looks pretty good. Wouldn't you agree? I've also taken the liberty of upscaling it over here. For this upscaler, which is quite foolhardy, I will provide the direct link in the description section for your convenience. If I were to draw a comparison between this model and the rapid AY method, as I have previously demonstrated in my earlier videos, I believe this current model offers a slightly superior output. However, it is important to note that this particular model will necessitate a substantial amount of VRM, primarily because we are working with both the high noise and low noise versions simultaneously. So, I will now proceed to show you a few examples that I'm currently displaying with these images. It is important to understand that I cannot publicly display not safe for work images due to YouTube's content policies which would result in the removal of this video. And here is the prompt that was used. In this prompt, you must explicitly emphasize what you desire more of in the generated content. Don't worry guys, for this kind of workflow, you don't need to buy an expensive PC with thousands of dollars worth of graphics card. 
Right now, on the screen, you can see the website and its interface. It is called RunPod. This platform allows you to rent powerful GPUs for your work. And trust me, it is much cheaper than buying really expensive hardware that pulls more wattage than three refrigerators. Anyways, follow the instructions from the video, register with my link below, it will give you bonus credits. Once you add your first credits, it will be enough for more than 20 hours of active rent time for the GPUs used in these workflows. Now let's proceed to examine the workflow itself. So here it is. This is the prompt that was used right away. The girl is standing. We then instructed it to remove the yellow and specified that she is waving at the camera. And we are actively utilizing H-Shift in this process. And this is the input image that was provided. It is important to note that in this particular instance, we are not employing the one video wrapper. We're just using K samplers and the settings are Euler and simple. We're using just 41 frames, just for an example. That, that image to video is working perfectly fine. And I'm showing you this one because I, I cannot show you the NSFW content. Of course, UniPC in beta. It works very well as well. You can try that out as well. I'm using H steps in this. Okay, just like the previous example. And as you can see, I told you that we need the tokenizer FP8 scale one. Okay, so now it will work. See load clip and it working. So the girl standing in answers, this is the prompt and I did this and everything else is the same and I've used upscaler in this as well. Ah, uh, so I cannot show you the full video. I'll show you just this part that it's working. And you can try this on yourself, as you can see, looks pretty good. And now, just let me just change it to 21 frames, because uh, this one, 21 frames, looks a bit better. I think this is better than AIO, uh, in my in opinion. You can try both and tell me which one is better in the comments section down below. So, I've made a few more videos, and this looks pretty good, very good. Okay, so this, this full RD is good. I think 12 shift looks a bit better. You can try it, because in some examples, the 12 shift looks better and in some it doesn't. So I'm just going to show you the 12 shift example with without any NSFW content. Okay, so this looks pretty good. I'll just zoom in so you can see how clear it looks. And if you want clear images, better images, then you just have to increase the height and the width. And I'm doing this in an RTX 4090. And let's change this one also to UniPC and Eula. Let's choose beta and over here as well, beta, and just click the image. Okay, so this is the same uh, with holding the peace sign. So this UniPC looks exactly same. Okay, so let's end this video right over here. Um, if you guys like this video, then please do like, comment and subscribe on our channel. Thank you.